Well, Matej Banoush, we know what he's capable of. He's been around for a few. He's been to a few Olympics alongside you, Casey. He's, he's tall. He's one of the tallest athletes uh, in the competition. Super, super fast. Always very, very keen fight amongst the Slovaks for that Olympic berth. And he always paddles well. He, he grew up, of course, watching Mikhail Mardikin paddle and then paddled alongside him for many, many years. And, and on his day, we know how fast he can be. Absolutely. He is, like you said, one of probably the tallest athlete on the course with us. And especially being in the C1, he has so much reach. His paddling style is very specific to him. You can see he can really hug the upstreams, unlike any of us can do. Um, that big wingspan, really stretching that neck to get around some of those gates. It's very impressive, some of the things that he can pull off. You know, but despite that height, he has such good balance. You know, you never really see him unstable. Um, that center of gravity can really throw you off, and uh, you know, he's, he's spent a lot of time learning to use that to his advantage, always keeping his core nice and tight over the center of the boat, nice bouncing. It would be somewhat of a, a shock, I think, if he didn't make the final. He was in good form last week. I think he picked up the silver medal in, uh, in Augsburg, so he's in good form. Yeah, paddling well. Nice little punt there. Still about a second and a half back here. See how this bounce goes. But three seconds at the moment, Casey, between Lucas Rowan's time and Franz Antoine's time. So there's plenty of room for him to, to sneak in. Yeah, yeah, he's really going to go in second, I think, now, which is a good effort. Yep. For Matej Banoush, should be enough, we think. Although, you know, we've still got... Uh, we're not even halfway through this semi-final yet, so a lot can happen, but 